on it with the, the pastels. Why do you think I'm going to do that? So the lines of the graphite won't show up in the chart. Yeah. Yep. What colors do you think I should use? I have all my colors here, but I'm going to start with, probably start with the, with this line going right here. So what color do you think I should use? I mean, you could really use any, any color that's like in that area. Green or brown. So maybe green or brown. I think I'm going to go with probably brown. Probably the lighter one. Because you're going to cover up these lines more than likely. But you want it to be kind of a similar color to what your, um, what's in your area. I'm just going to sketch it out. There's like a little rock poking up right there. So this is what painters do um, when painters paint, especially with like with oil paint, they actually don't sketch with their pencil onto canvas. They take the paint and they literally sketch with the paint things where they want to go because everything is going to get covered up with paint, especially like oil paints, very loose and kind of uh, gets more mixed on the canvas. So what she's doing is she's picking out colors that go with the object she's drawing so that the graphite doesn't imprint into your paper and so that it won't show through your chalk. So she's kind of going through and figuring out her objects, yeah, what needs to be really drawn and what. Too. What'd you say? I'm, I'm sorry. drawing really lightly. White, absolutely. Lightly sketching in. Once I get to the sky, I'm going to be using a lot of different colors. Little mountain. And she chose brown because that's what's in her landscape, but you need to choose whatever color is going to go well with what you're drawing in your landscape. Mm -hmm. And you can use the same color the whole time. It would probably help to not use the same color, though, to switch it up. Especially if you have like, you know, it's mostly earthy colors in here and the sky is like red. You probably don't want to use brown in the sky. So I'm probably going to do orange because it's kind of orangey in there. I might even do yellow. I think yellow would be better. I'm looking it's down flanky. at my drawing and then back up at my photo. And you're looking at where everything's matching in your photo, mm -hmm. looking for horizon lines, looking for just big basic shapes, not yeah, outlining a sun, nice. not outlining trees or anything right now. You're just kind of blocking things out. Yeah, I'm not really drawing details. Why do you think she would use pink right there in her sky instead of orange, even though there's a lot of orange? Because the orange is mainly going to the center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if blue and orange mix together, it makes brown. like brown, even kind of green a little bit. And yeah. so by using pink for the sky where it's going to kind of start blue next to it, it's going to help her really make sure her orange and blue don't mix together. <clears throat> They're just next to each other. They're just very close to each other. So just very simple shapes right now. Even in the clouds with the, the holes in the clouds. Just kind of gesturing them different stuff, even if it's not super accurate. Negative space. Yeah. And then at that point, you could probably start blocking in colors, although I'm probably going to outline my sun so I know where it is. Like right here. Here's the sun. And then you can go in and start adding all your little the colors and stuff. And with something like that, if you have like a crease on your paper, like on your um, on your newsprint or newspaper, you can just move it over. Like, I'm not sure what that was. And we'll show you how to get started on your sky and your clouds and everything mm -hmm. kind of on a different day. Yeah. Um, but this is for if you finished your glue sketching. lines, then you start this. So black paper comes first with glue. Where's your black paper go when it's wet? You remember? Out, out on the drying rack. Start at the bottom, flip the next one for the next person, and then you start on this part on your chalk. But really, everybody should probably get into their glue today, and that'll be probably all you got time for. But yeah. it's nice to see this step when you start out. Mm -hmm. 